Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Huh? Relax, Jacob. I'm just interested in what makes you tick. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? I know you and Miranda work together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. The rest isn't your business, Commander. Consider it dropped. I trust you to keep everything professional, Jacob. Thanks. That always bugged me about the Alliance. They didn't let people handle their own problems. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. They'll have something to see by the time we're done. No doubt. We'll be right in the middle of whatever goes down. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. I believe he doesn't have anything else to say if you ask him about um, other stuff, but I'll check. Commander, can I help sure. you with something? Eh. What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. Anything else, okay, Commander? Yeah, that's, we'll uh, talk later. Commander. That's the same thing he said before. All right. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay, thank you, Kelly. I'll read it later. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? That's a pretty enlightened viewpoint from, you know, somebody, from a member of a, what we originally thought was a really um, human-centric organization. That being said, it's kind of, if Kelly were to hook up with Garrus, it's a little bit different than Shepard and Liara getting together in the last game because Liara looks mostly like a human and Garrus is sort of not quite as much uh, it's it's not like uh, he, he doesn't look monstrous but he He doesn't have, like, a human-like face, you know? Uh, I've heard him described as ugly cute. That is to say, he's kind of cute in an ugly sort of way. Um, and whether you agree or disagree with that is... Um, uh, well, that's uh, how you feel. I don't know. Like, uh, anyways. Um, yeah, how is the crew doing. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. All right. Swing by the cockpit, check on Joker and Edie. We will, of course, be paying Karis a visit before we move on to our next, um, Mission. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything is going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Edie has a valid concern, Joker. Knock it off. What? Come on! No padding. Understood? What's the point of being a corporate ship if you can't inflate your results? <coughs> That's it for now. 
See you, Commander. Okay, fish are still alive. That's good. Here's some food to make sure they live longer. And um, I'm going to uh, just have a look at, to see what the pieces of armor I picked up look like. I don't like the look of that one. And that is, it doesn't look radically different from what I had before. So I'll keep that. Eh. All right, I'm not going to change anything right now. Uh huh. Okay. Dum to dum. Okay, it's a, it's a side mission. Operator's transmitter. Yep, and we know how dangerous clips can be because we just got finished fighting them. Uh, oh, here's something. Glad I didn't sign up. It's a good thing he didn't sign up. Oh, I, I should get rid of that, because I already read that. Okay, yeah, good to know Daniel's doing well. Yeah, I'm kind of not so good about checking my mail either. I, although I don't, unlike Garrus, I don't have the excuse of Grand Crusades or Great Passions. Not, not really. Oh, it's Shaira. Oh, and, and by the way, that last message from Dr. Chloe Michel, that was the doctor who we helped in Mass Effect 1 on the Citadel. Um, some thugs shaking her down and we walked in on them just at the same time as Garrus, who wasn't in our party yet at that time, was sneaking up to try to save her. And the two of us saved her. And she, uh, in her gratitude, gave us some information about, um, about Saren. And that led to Garrus asking to join our crew. And we said, sure and the rest is history. So, that's our old mutual friend. Um, asking, saying that she's glad we're, we're doing, we're both still uh, alive. Anyway, um, So it's good to hear from Shaira again, um, and uh, the thing that she said about make sure that those battling your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts, it um, is something you need to take into account. 
Uh, you'll see what I mean as the game goes on. You're not dead. All right, we read that already from Emily Wong. Mom. <laughs> Yeah. Shepard, you should have called her. You're a, you're a bad son. Okay, oh. Go down to engineering, we'll visit Grunt and Saeed, and we'll also visit Ken and Gabby because we got that equipment that they wanted that will help the ship run better. I just heard. The Collectors hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit! We are going to make those dirty buggers pay. Yes, we are. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skellion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. <laughs> be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. And hustling them is the Paragon thing. I, I don't understand why that is, but, you know, 500 credits for nothing. I won't turn that down. Actually, I wonder how much we paid for the, for the FBA couplings, because we wouldn't have been able to get into that game if we didn't buy them. It's, it's, I'm, I'm sure that it's less. I could go and check, but I can't be bothered right now. I'm sure we came out ahead, though. Shepard? Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture, huh? I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, you're kind of worrying me, Grunt. Um, anyway, um, the thing with the Turians and the Krogan is the Krogan rebellions that Morden talked about, because... Um, the Krogan population kind of spiraled out of control after um, the Krogan were... Um, it, it, well, it's a lot, the, the, the population spiraled out of control and they got in space travel because uh, people needed the help of this tough alien race that could fight for them against this other uh, alien race they were having trouble with. So they gave the Krogan uh, modern technology like spaceships. So the Krogan were able to go to um, other planets and they were able to like make themselves safer on Tuchanka and on Tuchanka there were before they had all this technology um, there was all this there were all these predators that you know the Krogan would breed like bunny rabbits but the um, the predators would kill a lot of them and thus they the population would go out of control but now the population went out of control and the Krogan decided, hey, we need more planets. 
this this planet ain't big enough for all of us. This other planet ain't big enough for all of us either. So they started trying to like conquer these planets. And everybody went, oh shit. They tried to fight the Krogan, didn't work out. So then um, they, they were like, uh, the Krogan were kicking their asses. And then they came across this, this race that they'd never met before called Turians. And we know, uh, we know about Turians, we've met a lot of Turians. So they said, so they, they said to these Turians, hey, Turians, help us. The Turians said, okay. So the Turians came in, and Turians are not like as, as strong or as tough as Krogan, but they are very good fighters. And they come from like a, uh, their, th 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 that's, that's part of their culture. They get taught to be very good fighters. And so the Turians helped turn the tide and drive the Krogan back. Even then, the Krogan were still, they still couldn't beat the Krogan without using the Genophage. So that's what they did. And now the Krogan population is a very small fraction of what it once was. Perhaps too small a fraction, depending on who you ask. If you ask more than itself, it's fine. Anyway, but yeah, we have a Turian on board on our on our team. You might have to go on missions with him. Here's Vicarian. Maybe you guys uh, cross paths in the hall. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But I'm starting to feel what they did, to see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. You have a strange sense of humor sometimes, Grunt. 